Greenpeace India organized a three-day climate justice campaign titled People for Climate at Kamaraj Arangam in Chennai from February 4 to 6. The event highlighted the urgent need to reduce climate disasters. As part of the initiative, a Museum of Memories was set up. It was essentially an exhibition, the first of its kind, that took viewers through a visual journey featuring 26 everyday items belonging to people impacted by climate disasters around India. This compelling photo exhibition told stories of loss, resilience and hope in the face of increasingly frequent extreme weather events with the aim to evoke a sense of urgency, demanding accountability from policymakers, big polluters and society as a whole. Renowned photographer Palani Kumar and students from fishing communities played a major part in putting up this exhibition. The museum also had an audio booth where virtual reality films projecting the lifestyles of millions of people living in climatically vulnerable regions were screened. I do expect more conversations to follow about uh, uh, climate change, about extreme weather events and about how unequally extreme weather events or climate disasters affect people. So I, I, I really hope that Museum of Memories as an initiative stirs up more conversations and that lead to more climate actions from the governments. And Community representatives, climate change experts, journalists and civil society groups actively participated in the event, providing valuable insights and giving depth and direction to the climate justice movement. Among the exhibits were water-damaged photo of MGR and his wife, which was gifted to a man in 1984 and destroyed during Cyclone Michong. Books and school bags of kids destroyed by Cyclone Oki in 2017 and handloom cloth dolls found in the aftermath of the Kerala floods in 2018. I was mostly moved by two stories, one, two, of, both of them children. One was Raj Ghazi's uh, school bag and the other was called the Heart of Hearts, which is Rakiva's story. So Raj Ghazi lost his school books and his um, supply for school uh, in the Bulbul uh, cyclone in Sundarbans, while Rakiva was a two-year-old. Rajgazi was five, while R Rakiva was two, when she lost her life to heat wave in Bihar. So I feel like this also conveys how how gravely this is affecting the coming generations, and how urgently that we, the responsible uh, adults uh, who can take the necessary actions, should take the lead in taking these actions. All the exhibits were memories collected from the disasters caused by Cyclone Amphan, Cyclone Bulbul, Cyclone Michong and others. India and the South Asian region in general are among the most vulnerable to climate change. Data shows that more than half of South Asia's 750 million people have faced one or more extreme weather events in the past two decades. According to a report, India experienced extreme weather events on 235 of the 273 days from January 1st to September 30, 2023, which claimed 2,923 lives and affected 1.84 million hectares of crop area. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.